Well, folks, you know every Friday means we have a new zoo guest, and joining us today is Charlie. Now, you did say you were originally going to bring someone else, right? <laughs> yeah, I was going to bring a bull snake, but he <laughs> decided he, wanted to be, he didn't want to be on TV. So. <laughs> he said not today. <laughs> not today. He was being real <laughs> difficult. No, it's fine. <laughs> Sometimes the animals don't work out, yeah. so we have to kind of switch them up. But um, we were able, one of our reptile department actually pulled this out from exhibit. Okay. And um, it was kind of, I was kind of nervous because... Uh, it's actually in with uh, a venomous snake oh. on exhibit. So uh, we had to wait for, you know, our Clint, uh, you know Clint, he's yeah. been here a few times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Clint to go and get it because of course, you know, he's the one that handles all the venomous snakes. He's the snakes, professional. So. He's yeah. a professional. He's got to yeah. handle the scary stuff. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I, that's one thing. I'll, I'll just stay with the non-venomous snakes, it's fine. <laughs> so who, well now, what kind of snake is this one? So this is a gray banded king snake. And this is a, um, actually a beautiful snake that we have at the zoo. We have mm -hmm. um, two on exhibit and I think one in the education department. And um, so one of the reasons why they're called king snakes, and they are found in um, different parts of the United States, and mm -hmm. different king snakes are found in, like from, I guess, you know, California to Texas, mm -hmm. around that area, um, depending on the actual species. But the reason they're called king snakes is because um, they're actually immune to any other venom from mm -hmm. another snake, so and they're, a, and they're um, snake eaters. So if you have to be oh. very careful that they're in there, and that's one of the reasons why it's actually in there with another venomous right, snake. Right, that makes if sense. If something were to happen, they were to bite them, it would actually not affect them. Like of course, the other snake has to be smaller than them to eat them, so I think the other ones on exhibit are a little bit bigger, but we do have to watch out when um, we have king snakes in with other snakes because we don't want anybody no you don't want anybody, <laughs> anybody to, to be else. lunch or anything so <laughs> and, and that goes with a lot of snakes with cobras wow. a lot of different things like that so um it's it's a little bit of a challenge sometimes make sure you match them yeah up when you right. match them up correctly because mm -hmm. sometimes and you have, always have to watch them because they might um not be playing nicely very nicely together yes. now is this about how big this uh snake gets or does it get Bigger? Yeah, this is about as big as wow. it's going to get. Maybe a little bit bigger. Um, I, I don't know if this one's a male or female, um, big, but we do have two. Uh, mm -hmm. um, we do have a male and a female at the zoo, so I don't know, actually know which one they, they actually pulled for me. But um, also uh, one of the interesting things with great banded king snake, you see the pattern. Mm -hmm. It's not always going to be the same with every snake. Oh, okay. um, the coloration might be a little bit different as well. Mm -hmm. And so it's always a surprise um, when you see different great banded king snakes. Uh, you know. I don't know how the reptile experts they can tell them apart, but <laughs> because sometimes it's very difficult. Right, and how do you tell if it's a male or a female? Like, how can you tell? So all the all uh, reptiles in general, or snakes uh, specifically, have a cloaca. It's a little opening. It's where oh, they go to the bathroom. Oh. It's where they do everything. <laughs> sometimes when we take the snake to the school, um, they go to the bathroom, and the kids love it. It's the most favorite thing. Perfect. Uh, uh, but that they have to do a little test to see if it's a male or female. Most definitely. And I know you guys still have that winter Texan discount day still. Yes. Yeah, so coming up uh, February 7th, which is already, we're almost done right with January. There, yeah, you know. exactly. And uh, we are having Winter Texan Discount Day, so it's going to be a, a great price. It's going to be um, $4.50 um, if you're a Winter Texan. Mm -hmm. And um, you go in, we're going to have train tours, we're going to have a walking tour, so um, other little activities going on throughout the day. Perfect. Well, thank you all so much for coming out thank today. You. I know I'm braving that rainy weather outside. <laughs> yes, it's, it'll be nice this weekend. Exactly. There you go. All right, folks, well, we will be right back.